Good evening, everyone. Kristen here, Vermont Gardening Adventures. And you can see behind me, picked up the cattle panels today and brought those home. Um, quite an experience doing it with a minivan and not a truck, but everything worked out. We've got some of the lumber outside here. Those are the two by four by 16 pressure treated pieces. And the rest of the lumber is inside the garage. And hopefully this weekend, I can start the assembly of the cattle panel greenhouse. Um, of course, this is all weather dependent. And also if the tree people actually come tomorrow to finish taking down all of the trees out back, which let me flip this around. And yeah, so we have, let's see, this one's going. We have all of these in the front going and um, it should be an interesting day tomorrow and Friday. But we also have some exciting developments in the garden, so let me walk on up and show you what's going on up there. Okay, you can see this is the row of beans, and look at that. We have our first green beans grown from seed. Very exciting. There are a few others throughout this row, and things are looking pretty good. We did have some severe storms come through last night and some of the squash and zucchini took a beating, but otherwise it's doing all right. Uh, I think it'll bounce back. We got a, a little bit down at the end there. It got pretty well crunched, but not too bad. Rest of things are looking pretty good. Peas are still in progress. We've got some peas here on the vine still. Peppers are still doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> uh, cucumbers are looking quite nice. Not much change from yesterday. Tomatoes, we had some sun today. Check that out. The sweet clusters are starting to turn. And as you can see, I have been fertilizing and still having this issue. So I gotta trim those back. I've been really trying to pay attention to all that stuff and staying on top of things. It is quite cool here right now. It's like low to mid 60s and the temperatures are not forecast to get very warm the rest of the week into the weekend. But we've got Roma Central happening down here. We got some Romas all over throughout the row. Super, super excited about that. Carrots, doing fantastic. Looks like these uh, marigolds could use some pruning. These romas, I wasn't sure how they'd do with the storm that came through because we were supposed to get 60 mile an hour winds with quarter size hail. Fortunately, it, we didn't get that. It wasn't that bad. Um, we just had torrential rains, just like every other day lately. So I do have Anybody that grows cucumbers, if um, if you've seen this happen to yours, what do you think is the cause? Because it's doing it on this plant. It's starting to, you can see that leaf is just kind of starting to crumble. Another one in the back here. Not sure if I should just pull those right off. It's stuck here on the fence. Here we go. And this one right here just one day straight up and died and I have no idea why I've been trying to look and see if there's like vine borer evidence not seeing anything I see my friend the cucumber beetle back enjoy your last meal buddy so is this typical beetle destruction or is it something else you know please leave me a comment. All right, so I was also looking at the calendar today and we are 12 weeks from our average last frost date. So I really need to get a jump on planning the fall garden. Um, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna plant, gotta get more dirt and uh, finding the time to do all that right now at work with work. Um, so it's a little bit busier for me this week and next week. Um, 
So I have to work around that schedule and of course, mother nature. Today we have sun, who knows when that'll happen again at this point. Other than that, things are looking pretty good. I'm uh, pretty happy and uh, hoping to get some more things planted soon. If the temperatures stay pretty cool, uh, I may actually try and do another crop of lettuce. Um, I was gonna wait, but I may end up actually going ahead and planting that because if the temperatures are gonna stay as cool, then I don't have to worry about it getting too warm, at least outside. I think it would be too warm for the greenhouse. So we'll just keep things outside for now and try to protect as much as we can from all the rain. Thank you to all of the new subscribers who found me through Aaron's channel. I really appreciate the, that you're um, taking a look and hopefully I'm not boring you too much. Yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely gorgeous out and I honestly don't even wanna go inside tonight. I would totally sleep outside tonight. That's where I'm happy is outside doing things or nothing. Just being outside doing nothing is fine. All right, well, I'm rambling and I gotta figure out something for dinner. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope everybody's doing well and have a great one.